Oh. Ha <laughs> Emphasis on story, infinite parameters, but death is still possible. Permanent death, no hints, no restrictions or death. Let's go with standard. Pants in the opening credits at the beginning of the game. Red Ruin software team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. And therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in this robot's claw for something more useful. Okay, like what? <laughs> Yay censorship or no, let him smoke. Okay, well. Uh, no, let him smoke. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. Oh, shit! <laughs> you tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Spit! Put on a defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? <laughs> Spitting was a lousy idea, we agree. You better tell the story first, you can still have a defiant expression. <laughs> okay, I'll tell him. Somewhere on the outskirts of the... 2073 is the year, you can't see it because of my big ol' head. The unnamed. Your yogurt or some other garage ads could be here. Broccoli attack. Grandpa. Big bottle boom. <laughs> Chapter one, Lost in Space. You lied to me. <laughs> no, it was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth, no lie. Confirm. Continue your defiantly unembellished <laughs> story. <laughs> I like that interruption. You lie! <laughs> Try not to urinate on electrical appliances and bare wires. And in the game as well. <laughs> Gum? Ew! Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. London. 
You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its Shepard, reputation. And Therefore, awesome we Matt suggest G that you stop the gas leak and survive. On Twitch. Well, I don't know what he said. Hey, Skid, thanks for the resub. Much appreciated, my dude. Uh, gas leak? Plug. Oh, I guess I need this. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Press tab to open your inventory. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Try not to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Stick it somewhere except for your face. Gross, look at it all over my fingers. You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. <laughs> Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, go this way. Extract? Shears required. Okay. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Operating in reverse mode? Well, that seems unpleasant. You need a scanner. Smoking can kill you. Smoking in space can kill you even faster, but few people are stopped by such a trifle as an oxygen explosion. Grandpa smoked his whole life, but only in his spacesuit, where he configured some special mode of filtration and air supply. Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, and non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of its label, although he was denied it and his wrinkled face, uh... Although he was always denied it and wrinkled his face while choking on this crap. Drink a dream. Chick you chick you belch? Chicky belch. Dark. No, it's chick you belch. Alright, I'll take it. Picture of Grandpa. One of the last photos of Grandpa who didn't part with the chicken until his death. He really liked him he really liked himself here, and I couldn't help Putting this photo in a frame. Okay. Insert videotape. Well, I don't I don't have a videotape, so I think we'll pass. When you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory of a processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Survival guide. A humorous survival guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shout-outs from some movie and put it in there. I don't think such an such advice can be useful, but to be honest, this situation is somehow strangely familiar to me. Or strangely similar to mine. There's even a chicken there. Alright. Find the interphone or get depressed. That's my task in the top right. <laughs> Cheapest swill shrunk, sh drunk by all space dogs. Nobody knows uh, from what waste this stuff is brewed. Nevertheless, the beer is disgustingly is distinguished by a pleasant, <laughs> mild taste of tar and the fragrance of fresh porcupine dung. Mm, delicious. Insert videotape. To pee or not to pee? Just like your bladder. Do not panic. Try to keep it all in. A tough, a, a thoughtless way something, blah blah blah. He's peeing on the computer!
Collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. With, with due luck and diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment or kill yourself in the process, I think. Jesus Christ, dude! What the hell? What the fuck? Back scratcher! Yes, exactly. You got it right. It's a book. It has pages inside. Letters and numbers on these pages. It also has crumpled corners and traces of greasy fingers. It smells like a book, looks like a book, and tastes no different from a book. Cool. Soyuz Breath Edge Cigarettes. A pack of the most popular cigarettes in the whole galaxy with a big bang flavor. You can light bonfires with them, wash bloodstains off shirts, paint fences, and feed the ducks. Smoking is not recommended. <laughs> Smoking causes irreversible damage to your health, especially if you smoke clay or polystyrene. According to statistics, all smokers die at least once. Do not use raw cigarettes as food. Do not smoke near chicken, children, chicken, mothers, or any other people, including yourself. Almost unfinished, you can practice some tricks with it, or shove it in the vent to practice suicide. <laughs> what the fuck? Drill blueprint. Grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints. With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself if it had the will and a Phillips head screwdriver. Page from the famous and the only galactic newspaper, Piece of Truth. It has been published for a long period of time and is distinguished by honesty, openness, good absorbency, and softness of paper, which makes it indispensable piece of trash literature after a hearty dinner. Look, a banana. Those damn bananas continue kidnapping my goats. <laughs> what the fuck? The damn bananas continue kidnapping my goats. Space hearse blast off. What a loud headline, but the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%. A picture with the autographs of Grandpa's best friends from the times when their crazy gang went on, as they called it, a space odyssey, which lasted almost a year and put them on the blacklist of most bars on inhabited planets. They were really cool guys, all already gone. All photo albums at home are filled with pictures of the chicken, a portrait with a dark background, a portrait with a light background, a master shot in the rain, a photo of it sitting heroically on a chair. This family heirloom now belongs to me and I can't even get rid of it by giving it to anybody. A good photo it was taken two years ago before grandpa's death. This jacket has outlived him and will probably outlive me as well. It wasn't blowing, it wasn't worth blowing bubbles into the face of this immortal bird. The school wanted me to sign on as a sprinter after that race. That day I flew. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Roll of fabric, a cool composite space rack, a unique combustion of high tech materials, combination, sorry. Calendar, September. A typical calendar with girls. Miss September. Grandpa loved and carefully collected such things. I remember in my childhood, Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache, and my ass got some wide strips from Grandpa's belt after that incident.
Use the interphone. Oh, wait, what's this? Physics in 50 volumes. A rare edition of physics in several volumes. They say the one who reads all 50 books will become the person who reads all these books. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't argue that logic. Our home number, I can't reach it, of course. Well, and there's no one to call unless I say hello to the cockroaches. Note. Don't forget to feed the chicken. Looks like India, somehow I never asked where this photo is from. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. All right, adjust the antenna. The chicken was passed on in our family from generation to generation, but she loved my grandpa even more than worms, I think. And grandpa always returned the affection. Harry, the cat, was my first and last pet. He was proud and a good one. Even the chicken respected him. I guess at least she attacked me more than him. I've always been good looking, although my beard was not as thick in my childhood, and by the age of three it got better. Alright. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Man. My notion of starships in my childhood didn't differ from my knowledge of them today. I drew this masterpiece at six or seven, and I am still proud of it. Grandpa couldn't live without space, but he loved home very much, just as any astronaut. My grandfather. I don't know when I painted this exactly, but I remember that my grandpa's colleagues were laughing their heads off and calling it Alco Lennon. <laughs> when he hung it over his bed, it, when he, why he hung it over his bed is a mystery. Take the rubber, gross. Ah, a storage unit. Excellent. Glass, lead paint, plastic, and aluminum. source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Tape recorder, bra whoa! Scraper. Scrapper, sorry. Judging by the degree of decomposition, this subject died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. Oxygen is not unlimited. Oh, shit. Where's your oxygen? Uh, it's on, it's down there where it says breathe in the bottom left. Oh. Well, that's, I guess that's because we chose standard, right? <laughs> hey, we're not dead. Hold on. Brownies. Check the antenna. Is there some kind of indicator of where this antenna is? Not like a 
Fuck your shit. I don't see anything up there. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Grab the corpse. Well, he's got cool suit stuff, so let's take him with me. There's an icon on the edge of the street, a screen. There it is. Uh, there's the 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 dead guy. Collecting a bunch of stuff. There's another corpse. Extract plastic. A standard coffin at the Global Funeral Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism, but no one will judge you if you die. <laughs> That's fair. That, maybe. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. You have broken it completely. Great job. Check the steering wheel. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Wow. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. Grandpa loved the young girls on a rocket. Uh, Grandpa loved to give young girls a ride on his rocket. Gross. So this is why his colleagues gave him this mug and the time, the title of Chief of Womanizer. Uh, unfairly, because Grandpa only gave them rides and only on his rocket. But he still kept the mug and always laughed at it. Create a debugging station. Cryptographic debugging station. I need wire. All right, let's see if we can find some wire. Seems they were playing some brain cracking game. Ooh. Mortal Wombat. Mortal Wombat. Be careful. Games provoke cruelty because, according to statistics, most criminals played them at least once. All criminals drink water, blinked, and used toilet paper, which makes it possible to draw an unequivocal conclusion about your criminal inclinations. That checks out.
Did I? Yeah. I didn't think I picked up wire. Oh, I sure did. Did you maybe put some of the, like... Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't mean that in, like, all the scrap pieces of paper away. Oh. up at the debugging station. Uh, I have it. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Wow, dude. Debug the receiver. I did it. Attention to all survivors. A rescue shuttle Hope has been sent free from the nearest evacuation point. The rescuer's arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. <laughs> <laughs> Create the crap imposed by the developers and put it in your hands. Required for increased protection from radiation and swaggering. What does it create cost to make that? Lead, gla uh, lead paint, glass, plastic, and aluminum. All right, so we need lead paint and aluminum. Babe, incredible, survived one. I see your avatar online. Okay. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. Oh, I also have to eat and drink. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's why I didn't think it was like create food and water. Nutrition packet, sweet packet, reduces, oh, adds thirst. Take off your helmet, you can hear me cry, hurry. Alcohol. Your interlocutor has very sweet accent, causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions. 
So I guess I need to go like one, two. Okay. No, my food. The shuttle got caught in some larger debris. Lucky. <sighs> Lucky. breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. metal and wire okay drop the alcohol cigarettes my beloved grandpa's back scratcher with a nipple gripper extremely popular among astronauts starting with this you can create an excellent tool for grabbing something else Grabber. Refined metal battery, aluminum and wire. Refined metal battery and thick electrical tape. Oh. Well, there's refined metal. Okay, okay. I got you. Alright. Can I just take this guy's helmet off? That'd be great. Use his helmet. The sensors report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle on the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visibility deterioration. Freezing danger? Well, don't go there. Maybe we can head over there. Hard to get in that door sometimes. I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients.
Oh, it was that thing. Find metal times two. I need another piece of rubber so that I can make a piece of thick electrical tape. Okay. A lot of various goods were transported in the cargo holds of the liner unnamed. The Global Funeral Agency rented only a small part of the ship's space in the framework of the advertising company and has nothing to do with these goods. Super cold over here. Yeah, it's cold over there. Toilet detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk, and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the debris of the liner's public toilet. Oh no! Poor fellow, for some reason there's always been a lot of these rodents. Whether they ran away or uh, and multiplied, or whether they were specially bred, I don't know, but there were always a lot of them. I propose to call it Hammond, although this toilet doesn't look like a man robot. Can you break those items, it said? No, it says I need a scrapper. Oh. Watch your OT. Well, now I've got a dead hamster. Well, this is not another mouth at me. <laughs> dead hamster. I'll put him in storage. Yellowish water. 
made from ordinary ordinary water by natural alkalinization through the kidneys. Oh, so it's pee. So it's pee, yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> to that place where there was all the like yeah debris with sparking wires and cargo containers obtained via shears and a handy scraper so you need the scraper first scissors on a stick so stupid yet so awesome cannot be found must be crafted all right how do i craft the handy scraper Equipment, tools. I already have it. You have to equip it. Oh. I guess. No, I can make it. Oh, well, I guess make it. Open. There we go. One. It's a awesome. scrap. Chicken dielectric. Bust open those things? Yeah. I got it. Air. Bless you, Captain. All right, so now I can make thick electrical. Oh, I have to do it here. Equipment to uh, items. No nope. resources. Thick electrical tape. And then I can go equipment items. Nope. Was it objects? Yeah. Crap imposed by the developers. Let's make that. Stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. <laughs> I guess I'm stalled, yeah. What did this do? Okay. Get to evacuation point. 
1.6 kilometers. I think we're going to have to make some stuff. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. Man, that concussion really hurt your health. Mm-hmm. How do I heal myself? Need a scanner. Let's see what it was. Oxygen balloon. Inflated, smooth, beautiful, reusable, universal cylinder reinforced with electrical type. Miraculous engineering idea performed in warm con condom tones. I require a condom, some water. Yeah, I picked up a condom. You have wire, so you need... Uh, two plastic and thick electrical tape. Okay. Oh, it's a honey barrel. Plastic. It looks like, um, material, some of the materials respawn. Because I went over there and collected the wire, and I went back and there was wire again. You have to use the bed to heal? Oh, that's right, there is a bed. Oh, there is, yeah. I totally forgot about the bed. Like that he sleeps with his mouth just all wide open. Yeah, and the chicken. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm hungry. Well, eat and drink. Drink. Eat some more. Uh, I need... Another food, I think. Oh, it also takes ice. Sorry. Give me an ice.
candle. Scissors. And a battery. That was awesome. Man, we got a lot of stuff from that. Where the hell is my home? There it is. <laughs> I need to stick electrical tape for something. For this, I think? Yeah. Oh, I have to stay on this screen while it's... Okay, now we'll make an oxygen balloon. Can you equip it on yourself? Maybe. Oh, sick, yeah. Oh, nice! Okay. Alright, I have scissors. How do I- ooh, wait. How do I make, um... The shears? I can already make them. Make them. A hey, sick. Looks like with thick electrical type I can make a drill, and with aluminum I can make a grabber. Well, a little more rubber and I can get a drill. largest condom in the world, and also an emission of gas, most likely oxygen, are detected ahead. There's no data on the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. Nice. Wait. Shears required. Oh. I was like, I do have shears. Hole in the rubber. Hmm. Weird. Alright, well, I can go make a drill. Whoops.
That's ice. Some metal at one point. Alkali grabber. So this is like a consumable. I could consume it for more oxygen. Okay. Broke my handy scrapper. Well, crap, I didn't know they broke. Yeah, it's a durability 50. Everything has durability. Oh, rip. Yeah, you want to make sure you don't just start smacking things unnecessarily. I didn't notice that. Okay, well. Three metal. So we'll get some metal. Pretty sure there was metal over here. Okay. 
They're looking for aluminum. We need a magnetic master key to open that. Bless you. Oh, excuse me, goodness. So we have three aluminum. Glass and lead paint. Roll of fabric. Okay, I just wanted to know what it was. I need more inventory. I'm gonna need a roll of fabric at some point. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. A rare edition of physics in several volumes. They say that the one who reads all 50 books. If you take the pictures out, can you put them back up? Or did you taking them mean they're automatically always in? I can drop them. I mean, it frees up space. Yeah. A lot of stuff you picked up. <laughs> Picture it's a grade, guys. Pile of stuff, yeah. I mean. Thank <laughs> you. 
pile of trash. Okay. Okay. Cool. The shuttle's plating is blue. These are the rescuers. Given that the evacuation shuttles have increased strength, the impact force must have been incredible. The rescuer spacesuits are like funerary ones, but I always wanted to learn how their flashlights work as they don't require recharging. I propose we loot the corpse for scientific purposes. Okay, flashlight blueprint. light bulb is required. I think I've fully explored this area yet. Metal. Glass and lead paint, lead paint and aluminum. Lead paint, lead paint, glass. It looks like a mail delivery shuttle. Surely it was carrying a lot of useless things, most of which were stolen before loading.
Mailbox break. Also that. Yeah. I'm flying. You fly? I fly. No, I fall. Okay. Get some air. So are the air candles just like air in a can, like from space balls? Yeah. Is that aluminium? Oh, I think it is. Perfect. Light bulb. Hey, a light bulb. Hammer. Judging by the broken handle, someone was beaten very hard and very painfully with it. I wonder which part of it was exactly. A hammer covered in blood. The victim is also stained in blood. Probably the hammer accidentally got stained by the victim. Yeah. That checks out. <laughs> 